Hey all, welcome back to the Debergerac channel. I'm your humble host, Jim. Today, I made some acrylic holders for the safe in this yacht. I'm gonna go over do's and don'ts of the gluing processes, how you machine it, and making jigs for it. So while I'm installing these, you'll watch how I made them. Okay, the first thing to do is get, out of the, get these started. So obviously you need all your pieces cut to size. Acrylic pretty much works like wood or anything else. You just need to use the proper blade. Same tooling procedures, things need to be square. Everything's the same, so I'm not gonna really go over that. Um, I'm not gonna teach squareness and all of that stuff or how we trim this stuff down today. I do wanna go over the jig part. And that's kind of the most important part to make a new acrylic line up. So what I've done is, we've got two pieces kind of already set up here that we made, and they kind of lock into the jig this way. Now when we go across with the, uh, I'm just gonna use one of these as a sample, but when the cap goes on the end, we obviously need to be clear. So what I've done is set up a couple of jig stoppers in here, which will allow us to load the pieces and glue them in place. So I'll show you how that works. So we already have our bottom squared into length. This is going to be the very first piece that we need. We load it in, we set it up against the stopper accordingly. Now just as a side note, my stopper is just a piece of door skin and we just used some extra acrylic. We glued it on with a 2P10 and you can add a little accelerator to that to make it work faster. So you can see it's a pretty simple jig. Just MDF, a couple of stoppers, nothing technical, works real easy. So we load the piece in like this. We put the sidebar on, and I'm just gonna clamp it from the bottom, and you'll see why in a second. That locks the piece in real nice for us, so everything stays stable. Okay, the next thing is to do, put the two side supports in. I have the spring clamps, and I'm gonna put three of these on, just kind of evenly space them down the piece. Okay, and then we're gonna put the other side in, put it into the touch the stopper. Okay, now that's loaded. Because as you know, spring clamps can slide a piece up. We're just gonna tap it down with a small hammer make sure that the pieces are bonded tight. Now this isn't very technical, but this is a well-known product. What I'm using is a very fast set glue. So this is made for acrylics. And I order medical supply syringes, mostly just for this product. And we draw it out of the can. In case you're wondering, this is a um, 21 gauge needle, and I like the inch and a half length for the ability to get around things. Once you've got it drawn in, you're gonna have an air pocket up at the top. So we need to push that out. Okay, now you'll notice I have two angular wedges just kind of glued down to my vertical supports right now. And what I'm gonna do is set this whole thing up on the vertical. Obviously, I don't want it there for the clamping process because it makes it harder. And if you'll notice in here, there's some dirt right now. Even as clean as the shop is, there's dirt down in there. What will happen is if that dirt gets into our glue seam, it's gonna stay permanently attached into the glue. So always make sure before you glue that your acrylic's nice and clean. Now I'm gonna put the needle in, I'm gonna just very gently squeeze some product in. Do not try to load your part and do your permanent glue at this time. Just put some in to hold it into place, approximately where the clamps are. You just need just a little bit, you don't need a ton. Now what I'm gonna do is flip it over, and I'm gonna apply it on this side. Again, I'm not loading it up, just barely see it coming out of the needle. It's a very thin product. You see why I like the long tips, because it's kind of difficult on this part to get in everywhere. Now that's set and we're gonna give it about a minute to just sit in the jig and then we're gonna pull it. Okay, that's dry enough. Turn my clamp back around the way we started from and then we unload. So having your workstation comfortable for doing this is ideal. And the piece just pulls out, it's a completed square piece. Okay, now if you remember, I did not put a whole lot of glue in there. We're gonna do that glue part now. You see right in there? There's a little tiny piece of dirt. We need to make sure that goes away. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this at an angle, put the syringe in the corner, and then I'm just gonna let it flow from this end down. Just a little bit. You don't want it to flow up on the edges. It went all the way to the end. I watched it go there. That side's done. Okay, that came out the end real well. Now you have perfect. It's like perfectly clean all the way down through. No splash up on the edges. Now, I said be real careful putting the acrylic glue on. And here's the reason why. 
kind of a waste of a nice piece of acrylic, but you're worth it. Watch what happens to the surface when I put the glue on there. Okay, we're gonna give that just a second to dry. Now look at that surface closely. It's actually destroyed. Okay, this is why you don't want your glue going on your other parts. Do whatever you want, you can buff that all day long. That part is actually destroyed right now. It's never gonna have the clarity or the shine. And then if you happen to touch it, you have just any kind of dirt on your fingers. See how it turns color? So always be careful, you'll be all right. So I'm gonna lay up the rest of these now. We have three trays that are gonna be like this, and then we have three more trays that are gonna have the divider in the center of them. So I'm gonna get these laid up, and we're gonna start on the ends and all the dividers. Okay, so we're looking pretty good now. Got all six pieces made up, the outside skirts. And what we need to do is put the ends on now. So what I've done is modified my jig slightly by putting a slot in here. So they go in like this, and you just a little bit over each side. I don't want them tight. So I put this little dado in the MDF, and that's gonna allow it to sit flush. So each one will be stacked accordingly, just like that. Now the easiest way is we're gonna go back to this glue. Put, you saw I put the glue on the jig right there, and I'm just gonna spray the back of the part. How simple that is, it's already cured. That's just done in real time, so it's cured in seconds. Now my piece is in. We have our other piece, I just, you can see I made the dado in that, just shorten it up a little bit. And I'm gonna lock it in. Everything's tight. Now I'm just gonna move it up. I'm gonna set it down in there like so. And then we go back with our syringe and we just apply a little bit of glue in the corners again. And that's done. Now because this stuff sets so quick, I can actually pull this out. I'm gonna remove my sideboard. Take that out, set it right here. Turn the piece around and do it the other way. Now, you can tell we're filming in real time because I just realized I have a problem. Remember I said I left these ends a little long? Well, when I go to load it back in, it's not square on this side. So I'm gonna have to go over to the chop saw and cut a little section out so that that will lock back in there. It's sticking over just slightly, it won't be square in my jig. So you notice I made a notch over here, I'll make a notch right there, be right back. Okay, now there's plenty of room for it, little notches in. Again, I wanna hold it in place this way, make sure that piece isn't moving, turn it down, same as the other one. Simple as that, doesn't get a whole lot easier. Acrylic's actually fun to work with. This one's going to need, depending on which one this is, we're going to need the cross divider and we're going to need the little verticals. So. Let me do the six of these up and we'll get into that next. I'm going to glue the center divider in now, but I want to point something out. I've done all of the layups on all the boxes. If you're using the syringes, it really doesn't matter. I've tried different kinds. The rubber stopper that's down inside the syringe there, the chemical reaction with the glue, the black rubber stopper, starts to turn the glue black. So when you go to put that in your seam, the seam will be darker instead of being clearer. So you have to swap these out. So that's why I have another one here. Now what I've done is I've split this, made a little wedge. It exactly centers this piece. as a full piece on that side. And then because I have to glue the opposite side, we need to have spacers. You really don't want the MDF or your, whatever you're using for your sacrificial pieces to give you spacing. You don't really want that to get glue on it because it will change the color of the acrylic. So I'm just gonna glue in the corners, put a little in there, a little in this corner. Remember, just enough to hold it, right? And then we're gonna do it in the, in between the spacers, I'm gonna put glue in. And I don't want a ton of glue in there because this piece of MDF will also mark the inside of the piece. All we need is enough to hold it for now. Let that dry for a couple seconds, and then we'll pull everything up. Okay, so now I'm just gonna pull my pieces up. I'm gonna save them because I have two more of these to do. And then put screws on this one, right? Just to make it easy for me to get out. Now you can see that's in there. This I'm going to do the same way. I'm just going to apply glue into the seam, let it run down. Don't get carried away with the syringe. Just let it go in there. Let it work its own way down there. Usually what happens is everybody gets just a little too carried away. It's not going fast enough. Just be patient with it. It'll get down there. It has to sink underneath any of the small gaps that's in the part. It only takes a second to let it go. And then you saw where I started with my syringe. I was up a little high, a little further away. So now that that side's done, I'm just gonna apply in here. So I need just a little drop, right? Let it go down. And then of course, we're gonna do the ends. Make sure there's good on 
good amount in the joint. If you get a puddle in the corner, just work it back and forth a little bit so it spreads out and doesn't leave you a big dull spot in there. Okay, that one's done. It's ready to be sanded. Clean the ends up, polish it. Necklaces will go in here. So I have two more of these to do, and then we're gonna do the other three with the smaller dividers in there, and we'll set that up. Okay, now we're on the next three trays. Got the dividers done in the other ones. What I've done is I need to divide this into seven equal compartments, and then three of the compartments are gonna be split in half. That'll be the next step to do. But I've got these perfectly spaced spacers in there, which gives me within two thousandths of an inch equally space. I've got it back in the jig, clamped it up, so it squishes all of the ends together real good. And this is going to be a slightly different operation. I can only put the glue in the centers. I can't put it on the corners. So what I have to do is just go in and glue the edges, which when that dries, it'll hold it in place, and I can take out all my spacer blocks. You see how handy that needle comes in. It's nice and long reach down in there. They do sell applicators for this glue, but I find the syringes work so much better. So I've glued all on one side, go down and put a little bit of glue on the inside of that one. Just work my way back down, staying away from the MDF. We'll give them just a second to dry, and we can go ahead and pull all our spacers out. All right, so there, we'll give it the minute it needed to cure. And I can gently pull these out. You notice they're all marked, because that's the only way they go. They have all the black, little black magic marker lines have to be up in order for it to work properly. So now I'm gonna go put it back up on the angle so that I can comfortably get all those inside edges. That set for just a little extra time because all of those ends are actually securing it, making, keeping it square. You just want to be careful with them before you give it an extra second before you pull it. Okay, we're set up with the final glue up, spaced it accordingly with the spacer so it's on center. And then with this one, I can only glue one side. So I'm going to try to keep it close to where it needs to be. Just put a touch of glue in there. Set a clamp over the top of it just to make sure it is tight everywhere. Everything is in place and ready. Now we just have to sand all the parts, polish them up a little bit, and we'll be ready to put them in the boat tomorrow. Safe number three done. We hope you learned something from the acrylic work. Um, next week we're going to have how to make the templates for radius corners. I had a lot of comments on that, but if you bear with me for one more week, we'll get it to you next week. So why don't you subscribe or comment below, let me know what you think, and really make something cool. I'm out of here.